Dun, 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 dun. Here is the truth today. Here is the truth. Dun, 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 dun. The truth today. What the truth is, is I analyse the news. Now remember, first and foremost, that all the news is propaganda designed to keep all of us on a narrow bandwidth of consciousness and stop us exploring our true freedom. You might be about to say, well it isn't, look, because let's have a look at what's happening, for example, Daily Mail. Cut your sugar intake by half. Why is it shouting at me? You don't know how much sugar I have. I'm diabetic. My sugar is very strictly controlled. I could have a fit. My foot might fall off hysterical approach to the notion of sugar. We, your definitive guide to exactly how much sugar is in your 500 favourite foods. Oh my god, sugar, what am I going to do with this bloody sugar everywhere? Oh no, sugar's stealing our jobs. And then over here, look, yeah, there's been a sort of a study about sugar, I suppose, because the Telegraph, half your sugar intake, I mean, this is less hysterical, this is half your sugar intake. Boy, half oh, your sugar intake. I mean, the sun and the sun shouting about sugar. Get rid of your sugar. Hey, how sweet as a nap or something. Either way, we're having much too much sugar and much too much people not from here living in our country. Middle class blamed for migration. Why? What have they done? A wealthy metropolitan elite of middle class households has helped support mass immigration, says a study. Like, as we know, immigration, that's just people moving around on the planet. Remember these important facts. We're on one planet, there's a certain number of people, there's a certain amount of resources. Don't divide it up in weird ways that cause conflict and problems. You'll upset yourself. There's a certain amount of money on the planet. Some people don't have enough. The first question you've got to say is, have some people got too much? If the answer to that question is yes, that's the problem. It's not, are there any people moving around away from where they were born, because it'd be that. <laughs> no, have some people got too much money? Yes, there are some people with excessive wealth. Get some of their money? No, it can't be that. It's to do with these people moving around, crossing imaginary lines. These imaginary lines are the problem. Migrant workers do cost British jobs, says Buried Report. There's a report here, it says that migrant workers do do jobs, and I suppose, technically, if those migrant workers weren't doing the job, a British person could do it. Put it in the ground. <laughs> Who's burying it? I am burying it. Where are you from? Poland. I just buried the report. Could a British person be burying that report? I suppose so, technically, if they were prepared to. <laughs> a, a Polish person can't come here, I suppose technically, could come here and do my job. I'm not even getting paid for this, so they're welcome to it. <laughs> Let's have a look at some stories a bit more closely. Watergate. Well, I'll tell you something. This is a, a, an interesting indication of the deterioration of journalistic standards because when Watergate was broken in the 70s, it was to expose government corruption at the highest level. Nixon corruptly spying on his opponents. What is it in this case? I am going to the toilet. Child forced to wear an I am going to the toilet sign while going to the toilet. Well, I mean, maybe that's unusual. But is it as important as Watergate? No, only in that it, our state of consciousness is declining to such a point where we're thinking about children going to the toilet on a daily basis. Here is that child. We don't need no education. What they've done there is they've added an extra E to make it we. That is the substance that comes out, mixturation, instead of the... Uh, inclusive noun of more than one person. Here is the child, he's been asked, right mate, could you just do the face that you do? How did you feel when they said you had to wear that sign? I felt all sad inside. Putin, of course, as we know, uh, that Ukraine is uh, the focal point for a dispute between Western ideology and Russian ideology. They're using that territory to play out a, a, a debate. Uh, like, you know, will Ukraine become sort of enamoured or sort of inveigled by Western consumerism or will it stay closer to whatever the hell it is they do in Russia now since the fall of communism? Well, it's a complicated issue, so what have the sign got to say? Vain Vlad is a Botox addict! Right, well, frankly I don't care <laughs> if he's addicted to Botox. And any excuse to print a photograph of Vlad, I think they like, like the son, second only to their love of boobs, is their love of Vlad's sort of flagging, saggy chest. I've seen more of that than I've 
the scene of my own torso. I feel like now in my mind, when I dream, I have that body of Vladimir Putin. Like, don't make it about the personality of Vladimir Putin. That's not relevant. What we need to work out is why is there, why are there these ideological disputes? Why are we being given? Why are the Ukraine being given that choice? You know, John Kerry from America turning up to sort of lay flowers in Kiev or whatever is like as if like, oh, I hope you're all all right. What that really means is we need to own the Ukraine. It's got a big population. It's probably got resources. For God's sake, get hold of it. In our English newspaper, there's a man who used to play cricket is attracted to a lady who is attractive. Most spoiled little madam in the world. Don't even need to read that. <laughs> Imagine that was just, that was it. It's just a bulletin. Who is the most spoiled little madam in the world? Thank you. <laughs> There's that selfie thing. Now the Lego version of that selfie, which it turns out was just to inspire us to buy sort of, uh, you know, <laughs> cameras. Look at the black Lego people. If you what so yellow is white then? <laughs> yellow is white, that's standard. Black has to be re-rendered as black. But yellow, that's white. So now we know that Lego is racist. <laughs> racist Lego. Le racist Lego. <laughs> Lego back to your own country. <laughs> also, there's sort of like people are fascinated by weather. Weather is happening, spring, the seasons are happening. It's quite interesting, really, because what that is, is we, our inherent human nature keeps hustling and to the top, to the surface, like that we are connected to the seasons, that we are fascinated by sex, we are intrigued by power. So those narratives, even through the bizarre filter of these newspapers, keep emerging. It's just the way that the information is presented isn't helpful. I suppose with all this stuff, what we have to bear in mind is that whether, like it, it all takes place within a very sort of, within very, very narrow parameters. It, don't take it too seriously, I suppose. Look at it, just let it pass across your eyes. Know that really what they care about is selling you, if you're reading the Telegraph, they want you to buy that car. If you're reading the Sun, what do they want you to buy in the Sun? Illuminate your smile with a type of Paste. <laughs> Put a paste on your teeth and illuminate it. This lady's done it. She looks happy. If you are, you could be her. Or if you're not her, you could fuck her, you know. If you made your teeth, scrub your teeth with paste like her teeth. She might let you fuck her. <laughs> Aquafresh. High definition. Just, you know, just don't let your teeth fall out your head. <laughs> but please don't think that you'll be having any more sex. You simply won't be. Now you understand what the parameters of the news are. Springtime has come. You will have a connection to that because the creative force that makes the springtime come also makes life version in you. The life force that made single cellular life forms part uh, partition into bicellular life forms is in you. It makes you want to breed. It makes flowers want to grow. It keeps the planets spinning in their spheres. You are part of this. You are part of this creative force. Don't allow these pieces of paper to define your version of reality. Don't let them tell you that you are different from people that are a different colour or a different economic class or a different different gender from you. We are all one. We are one with the universe. As soon as we align with that force we can achieve anything. Now just for a moment let me prove it once and for all by showing you a dog's testicles. Dun 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 that was some truth today. That was some truth. Then Brian you should be ashamed. I'm sorry about that.